Hey Virgo, what's going on? I hope everything is going well. Um, let's hop into your reading. And I'm sitting here looking at the cards. So I figure, well, let's just get into this and talk it out and see what I see. That's George growling over there. George, quiet down. Simadana. All right, Virgo. Where you and this person are at in this connection is connect with the Queen of Swords. Okay. So this is pretty on point because Queen of Swords is Libra energy. Libra energy can be very diplomatic. All right. Um, a lot of you may have Libra in your chart, Virgo, and you're being asked to tap into that energy. Libra is also your neighbor sign. Um, it's also, uh, you could be involved with, in, I get a lot of you actually, Virgo, a lot of you have the air in your chart. Okay. I'm getting Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, or this could be a Libra or this could be another earth sign. Um, Capricorn specifically could be Taurus, another Virgo could also be, um, a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. Okay. So connect. It says you're being asked to connect with others in meaningful ways. Sometimes it's helpful to get new perspectives and to simply be around other people. You're in need of this right now and deep connections will benefit you in many ways. Okay. And who other to show up here, right? Then queen of swords, Libra. Um, like I said, Libra is a very diplomatic energy and it's also very logical. It doesn't look at, uh, or doesn't base decisions off of emotions. Really. It's about, you know, what seems fair, no matter what. Okay. The queen of swords, um, this could be someone who is your best friend, your partner, husband, wife, doesn't matter this person would still tell you if you're wrong or if you're right. You know, it's like, I love you, but <laughs> you may be wrong in this situation. Okay. So, um, some of you, some of you Virgo, I, I don't know, it could be you or your person. We'll get more into that, but it seems like there may be a bit of tunnel vision going on or, lacking perspective. Okay. So there seems to be a need for, you know, looking at things from the other person's point of view and you, it, it could be, you may gain perspective from who this is that you're watching this reading for by opening up because that is a challenge. That is a block here in this connection. Okay. Um, the block or the challenge in this connection literally says, open up and arrogance. Okay. So, oh, oh, somebody ain't like that. Well, it is what it is. I don't know what to tell you. Um, so listen, sometimes the readings aren't going to all be about what you want to hear. Okay. Sometimes it's what you need to hear. So let, let's open up a little bit, shall we? Okay. <laughs> It says you're being asked to open your heart to another, to let down your walls and trust that they want what's best for you. Your life will open up in wonderful ways once you decide to open up. All right. So you have that with arrogance, inability to see your flaws, know your limitations while trying to learn and improve. All right. So. Hmm. We'll start with you. Okay. Virgo, the first card out, which with the eight of swords, I think is pretty much on point. Please remember this reading can resonate in reverse. Or if you feel like you are ready to own this energy, if you feel like it does speak to you, then own it. Cause you know, you're going to gain more clarity. Um, so you have being the victim blaming external factors for your problems, be culpable for your actions. So culpable 
It's um, some of you may already know. I didn't know. I had to look it up. Uh, it's being able to take blame, being able to take ownership for your part in the story. Okay. You have that with um, the eight of swords and literally the eight of swords. She's blindfolded. She's tied up. She has all these swords around her, but all she has to do is, you know, untie herself. Nobody's stopping her. The swords, it's, it's a, it's a being, it's being a prisoner of your own thoughts. It's being a prisoner of your own mind. Okay. And literally with the blindfold, that does kind of give me being the victim. It's being blind to, it's like asking, why is this happening? Or maybe why is this person doing this instead of maybe, well, a number of you, I feel you could like, you're asking why, and you could be, you know, um, tapping into this queen of swords energy, maybe, you know, taking a, I don't know, taking a level of blame. I don't know though, Virgo, I don't get that. I think that you may be blaming this other person, but, and, and listen, that could all be true. What, what you're saying about this person could be true, but there's a message here where they're saying, well, it may be important for you to open up maybe what part did you play? Cause that's the key. You see the key, like the key is to understand maybe it's, you need to understand what this person's perspective is. And you're not going to get that perspective by not talking to who this is. Cause a number of you are not expressing yourself to who this is. You're not talking to them. You're not opening up to them about, you know, what really is the issue a lot of you, because you have the B here, which funny enough is my Libra card. A lot of you could be complaining about this person, but you're not telling them you're, you could, because B shows up, um, when someone is overworked and you may be feeling overworked in this connection, Virgo. Um, You may be feeling overworked and it says when B is, you know, kind of tired, they can gripe and they can sting. Okay. I think a number of you don't want to sting who this is. Okay. <laughs> um, for a lot of you, this could be your husband. This could be your wife. This is somebody very significant in your life. This could be your mother, your father. Okay. This uh, queen of pentacles is someone who holds, um, a position very significant to you. This could be your boss. For some of you, this is a work related reading. Okay. So there's that. Um, and I'll get to them in a second because they've got some anxiety issues over here too. They're very worried about money. I think for a number of them or very focused on their success. Okay. So I think that you legit have your complaints about who this is Virgo for one reason or another, but you, again, let's go back to the challenge and the block. You're not opening up. That's what I get with the eight of swords, especially. Okay. You're not opening up to this person. And being the victim could be you saying, I don't want to open up to this person because, you know, whenever I do, they blame me. They, you know, shift the, you know, they shift the blame onto me. You know, you're a number of you are not really okay with hearing this person's side, because I think you genuinely, for some of you feel like, like you are a victim in this situation. Okay. Uh, and again, I don't know your full story, so please don't shoot the messenger. Um, you have, um, 
worth is how you're showing up as well. All right. So it says you're being asked to honor your worth. It can be easy to feel that we aren't good enough or worthy of happiness. This simply isn't the case. However, you are worthy and you have inherent value. It's time to cherish yourself and see your true worth. The thing is, Virgo, if you, first of all, exactly what it says, you are worthy. All right. But a number of you, you could tell me maybe this person makes you question your worth. The relationship you have with this person makes you question your value. Okay. Um, things that you do are never good enough. That type of energy. I'm just using examples. But again, if you come out of your, your mind, if you get out of your head, okay, and open up to this person and express yourself. Well, that, that in itself shows that you value yourself. I'm not saying you don't value yourself, Virgo, but you, I think with a number of you, you truly, you don't feel like this person honors your worth or value in this connection. So that right there is you just don't know. It's like, you don't know what to say. You don't know how to say it. But what I'm saying is that right there is someone who feels very confident and knows their worth has no issue speaking their mind. Okay. And I'm not saying you don't know your worth overall, but in this scenario, in this situation, you just feel like it's not going to be valued. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. What you have to say is not good enough. And, um, they're telling you the message is they're saying Virgo, that's a victim mentality. The key is you need to speak your mind. You need to open up and, and, say what's going on. Now, a number of you may say, uh, I don't want to say anything to this person because they're arrogant and that could very well be the case. Okay. Um, inability to see your flaws. Maybe they have an inability as well to see their flaws. But again, you both aren't going to gain perspective by not talking about it. You just won't. You're, you'll both sit here in this energy until you two can, you know, level with each other, queen of swords, the scales, until you two can, can have an honest conversation and maybe even, you know, having Cause what I'm seeing here, Virgo too, is like, all right, I'll tell you about your, what I'm seeing in this, in this way with your person, but I don't feel like you're really like opening up to anyone. I see you working, working, working and, and doing what you're supposed to do. True to very like Virgo nature. Okay. Um, just from my experience with Virgos, but I also feel like you're keeping a lot to yourself, a lot locked in, like you're not communicating really with anyone. And what they're saying is that you may want to talk to someone because, you know, people that are close to you or people that may, and you could even say to someone, Hey, I don't want you to have any bias. Can I just talk to you about this situation? Here's my perspective. Here's what this person is saying. Could you tell me what you think that may be helpful here? Okay. Um, your person over here, they show up with, wait, let me say this. What I just had like kind of advised or the advice that I'm getting right with connect, I think your person is kind of doing that. I feel like they may be opening up to someone else to gain perspective, to gain, you know, to understand your perspective. All right. Kind of getting that. Um, so your person here, they show up with 
expand okay you're being asked to expand you live in a huge world with endless possibilities and staying safe in in the known is no longer working for you it's time to make your world just a little bit bigger it's time to imagine the possibilities and go for them so something's going on here with this individual where i feel like this is about their career virgo this is about their this is about success for them okay and um achieving some sort of achievement here that this person wants they're very focused on that okay and with the gazelle gazelle energy is someone again this isn't anxious type of feeling this is someone who like can't keep still all right um but it's also someone who's not living in the present, okay? It's, I wanna go to the gazelle really quickly because whoever this is has the ability from what I'm seeing, how they show up, this person actually has the ability to be very successful. I mean, they can be. Um, this person could be the breadwinner in the connection, Virgo. And maybe you're just not wanting to, bother the breadwinner, right? They're, they're getting their money. They're, you know, focusing on, you know, what they need to do. Um, yeah, I'm getting that like very career driven, very focused. Okay. It's Capricorn energy. You may want to watch if some of you are involved with the Capricorn, you may, this is actually hitting. Okay. Um, so I'll say, I'll leave that there because this is Capricorn. So yeah, this person I feel could be overly focused on their success. Okay. But gazelle sometimes shows up when you need to be present. You need to be still for a moment and be thankful and be grateful for what you have already be grateful for the experience. Okay. For some of you, this person is like coming into, they may have gotten a new job promotion. All right. They've leveled up in some sort of way. And you know what I'm getting with that? Maybe that question that has you questioning Virgo, like your place in this person's life, because maybe they're not focusing enough attention on you. All right. And that could be what is maybe sabotaging the connection, undermining your success by procrastination, negative self-talk or fear of failure. See, I see them that this is, that's what I'm getting fear of failure. Like they're so focused on work or money that they have this underlying fear. If I don't focus enough, I'm going to fail. Okay. And they don't want to fail at something here. I can see that. And this person could be trying to like expand their brand. They could be trying to expand their money, you know, um, expand the ways that they earn income. All right. I want to go to, to the gazelle really quickly. Yeah. Heightened awareness and ability. Heightened ability, like I feel like this person has a heightened ability for money right now or income. Um, they, there could be something here about a purchase too, like a large purpose, uh, large, um, well, it could be purpose, but a large purchase that your person is very focused on. Okay. So I'm seeing that. Let's see. Um, Gazelle personalities are often hyper aware of their surroundings, bordering on hyper vigilant, and this can inhibit them from enjoying the beauty they've spent so much effort cultivating. No more worrying about all those predators out there in the wild. When this card appears, it's time to get back to the present moment. Sit down, find your breath, and acknowledge the bounty that surrounds you. Let it nourish your gentle spirit. Okay. And for a number of you, this person is very attractive. 
okay, with the gazelle and the queen of pentacles. This is somebody very attractive. Okay. When I, I'm seeing something here, you know, Virgo, I think for a number of you, and I am, I'm getting this very strongly. A number of you have tried to speak your mind about finances and things having to do with like, you know, tangible things in this reality. I think that you've tried to speak your mind to this person. You've tried to add, you know, see, because B energy tends to be very helpful, but it seems like you're over here. Like my help is not wanted. Like I want to help this person, but you know, I don't feel like I'm serving here. Um, it's funny, you both come up with like this queen, queen bee type of energy. It's like two queens here, okay? And um, that could be the arrogance part. It's you two kind of bumping heads. But I feel like you all have like tried to give your input to who this is. And due to maybe their extreme, like maybe focus right now, they have kind of like shut you out or made you feel like your opinion is not valid. Okay. When it comes to like, like some real life stuff, like money, credit, insurance, I don't know, just random real life stuff. Okay. Which they're very focused on. So and look, it says self-sabotage, undermining your success. They may, it's, it's literally telling them too, like they could be undermining their own success without, you know, because they're not listening to you. They're not hearing what you have to say. And look, you do have the key Virgo. So that could be why like the universe is pushing you to be your authentic self. If you, you know, you should be in, in this connection, you should be able to open up. You should be able to speak your mind to who this is. If you have some valuable insight, you should be able to share it. Okay. I think this person generally Virgo is, could be pretty good with earning income, um, being very stable and things like that. But I don't know. I'm picking up that you do have, you have something to offer here. Okay. And it could be about, hear me out, Virgo sometimes. And I know y'all going to be like, this is so cliche. It's not what you say. It's how you say it. Okay. So maybe you have tried to say some good things to this person, but it was the way that you communicated it, that maybe it got lost in translation. Okay. So like the universe says, you know, you're, you are being asked to open up. I know that uh, for a number of you, you really don't want to, but maybe it's about tapping into that Libra energy and coming from a place of, it's like a very non-emotional, but this feeling of, you know, speaking to someone or maybe, you know, there's just a way to kind of vocalize. And I'm not saying that your person can't tap into this queen of swords energy as well, but this is your reading. So I'm just talking to you. Maybe it's just a different approach that's needed. It's not, maybe you did, you, maybe you said the right thing. You just said it in not the best way to who this is. Okay. So there's that. I do think that this person want like, I feel like this person does value you. They're just very like right now focused on their success or their money and things like that, but it is undermining the connection to a degree. Okay. So in all fairness, to go back to the Libra energy, it's not just you Virgo, it's them too. It's, it's both of you need to open up in your own way. You more so maybe with 
uh, communicating or how you communicate your ideas and things like that. And this person may be opening up to the fact I'm getting like Aries energy, even over here, opening up to, you know, the fact of it's not just me in this connection, it's me and Virgo. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing right now. Okay. Um, so I'm going to now continue this over on part two. Um, the link is in the description, top of the comments, and I'm going to pull the cards for where I see you all at next in this connection. I'm going to get into what I see this person wanting with you overall, Virgo, what they think will happen with this connection. What outcome do I get for you to over the next three to six months, give you a time Oracle card with that. And, um, I'm going to pull your advice from the crystal spirits deck from these decks as well. Okay. How you should be showing up in this connection. All right. So Virgo, if some of you feel like that information will be beneficial to you, feel free to join me. All right. Over on Vimeo, I'll see some of you over there to watch part two. If this is where we part ways, Love you guys. Be safe. Take it easy. I'll see you soon. Peace.